<laughs> All right, so I thought I would come on today and show you some resin stuff because I've had several questions recently about resin. So um, you like my messy workstation? A lot of times there is a two, three, sometimes four step process that needs to be done. So that is why my desk is so messy because these need extra layers. This needs to be domed, all that kind of stuff. So I have a little table off to my right. That's where I put the stuff that needs to cure and get it out of my way. So I have plenty of surface to work on. So we're gonna start off with measuring out equal parts of our resin. So I bought this measuring cup at um, Dollar General. Dollar Tree also has some, but I like this one because it's nice and big and it gives me plenty of room to stir. So I'm just holding the cup up in the light so I can see the markings because that's my only complaint about this measuring cup is that everything is clear. I haven't taken the time to try to paint. So this spatula I got from Dollar Tree and I love it. It is so nice. It's great for stirring because you get a lot less bubbles because it's a nice big surface. So the point of, I mean, not the point, in order to get proper um, mixture, you need to stir for three to five minutes. So I'll be back in a flash. Okay, so if you're wondering, um, resin does not stick to silicone and that is what the majority of the molds are made of and that is what my spatula is made of and if you noticed I was able to peel the hardened resin off of my spatula so I can keep using it. Now another thing you can use is um, craft sticks. I get these at Dollar Tree and I use these for mixing in small amounts of glitter um, that's kind of you know and I buy these little paper cups I buy two sizes and I use these for mixing in the colors or the glitters or the micas whatever that may be so I keep this measuring cup strictly for clear resin um, I have found that if I use my measuring cup for mixing in the glitter um, then I really can't see the markings. Okay, so there are there's always going to be some bubbles. Plus, I'm just not patient enough to stir really slow. I mean, there you're. I'm stirring really too fast right now. But if you can see, there's a few bubbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it rest now that it has been stirred properly um, and I'm going to prep let's see which one do I want to make with you actually we'll do this these were sent to me by my bestie and they are actually temporary tattoos so I am going to um, start the process of making a coaster with one of these so as you can see here is my coaster mold And everything, when you're using the molds, you have to remember everything is in reverse. So whatever you put in first is going to show on top. So keep that in mind when you are doing, if you start doing these. Um, I also wanted to show you, oof, almost fell out of my chair. I made a new jar. I made a poison jar. My bestie sent me these awesome, awesome stickers that Dollar Tree has. 
ours have not gotten these so I would love it if anybody else comes across these stickers if you could send me a couple I would be more than happy to repay you but see though aren't they awesome I just love how they look they're so cool so she sent me two sheets but of course I want to make lots of cool stuff so if you find if you come across them in Dollar Tree let me know um, I used I have one of oh no one of the companies i buy from is in alaska she is um bear mountain designs ak bear mail look what happened Woo. resin sticks to everything so this is actual sand from homer spit beach in alaska which i think is just the coolest thing ever isn't that neat all that volcanic sand in there so that's what I used for the rim of and I, I didn't do a very good job I've got a few holes but I can fill those in but I just love how this turned out I use micas for the smoky look inside the jar I just think it's so cool so cool I hope you agree all right let's see what color do I want to go with let's see do, 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 do. so this is my image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the rim, kind of like what the, um, how the sand is in the jar. So I'm going to pour this first. And this is, again, this is my decal that I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with this um, orangey. No, maybe not because I don't have that color. <laughs> Let's see. What colors do I have? I have purple. I always do purple though. Everything is so much purple. Um, ooh, I got a new blue. Let me see if it matches. I'll be right back. Elsa, you're so cute. All right, so let's see. I actually have two. What is this one? Does this one match? Ooh, I haven't used this one yet. No, that does not match. So I got these two new blues. And I think I will mix them so here is one of my little mixing cups and i'm going to take a smidge of this and a smidge of this whoops that one's not open yet so these are glitter guy glitters and they are my absolute favorite well i take that back i have two favorite glitter companies glitter hippo and glitter guy Glitter Guy sends you, ooh, so messy. So this is what the labels look like from Glitter Guy. They have the coolest names. So this is Jack Frost and there's a warning label. It says this glitter has a date with destiny, dot, 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 and an object. It's pretty funny. And then this one is called Bibbidi Bobbidi Blue. And there's no warning on this one. This is called a hacked glitter. So what that means is it will um, kind of reflect and refract colors, which is super cool. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little bit in this cup. Oh, and I have my surface covered with parchment paper, which I don't know. Oh, I just buy my store brand parchment paper and also resin does not stick to this so it is perfect to put over your work surface so you don't ruin your tabletop or like what I have under here is a um, a calendar planner or a desktop calendar whatever you want to call it that I usually use when I'm stamping so I don't get ink on my table so I just covered that with a piece of parchment. So I'm just slowly mixing in my glitter, making sure it is not, or making sure that it's all coated. Look at that, so pretty. All right, so now I will take my little mold. I gotta move the bee out of the way because it's gonna be tomorrow before I can do the bee. So I'm just going to pour. I know my hand's in the way. I apologize. So I'm just slowly pouring. 
and I want to keep it just in that little track. So this will be the, um, like I said, the rim of the coaster. And I do have a little bit too much over here. So I'm going to use my craft stick. I'm going to pull the resin away. And as long as I have a space between the solid part, like the little bit of glitter that I have um, on the surface, I'll be able to peel that off when it is dry. So the way I do my coasters is I pour my um, rim first, and that will go over here on my drying table. And I think I'm going to go ahead, let's see, is there another one that will match? I'll go ahead and do this one because I have enough blue, and then I can have a matching coaster. So we're going to go ahead and pour this one. So you can see this is kind of stained. I um, There's also a technique where you can use dye base inks, or not dye, yeah. You can use ink, like for ink pads, the refills, and you can make really cool like tie-dye effects. So that's what I had done with this one and did yellows and orange and red and it stained the mold. But it still works perfectly. I'm just slowly filling this cavity. All right, so there's the second one. So we'll put it aside. And let's see, I still have a little bit in here. Where's my owl? I'm going to do this cool owl. I did, I have one poured that um, is ready to be top coated. So I'll show you that in a second, what it looks like. I think I just used Bibbidi Bobbidi blue on the other one but mixing these two glitters it just gives you kind of a custom well it is a custom blend but it just adds a little bit more dimension and I just love it's just so cool how you can mix glitters and get a whole new glitter you wouldn't think they would combine like that since they're just little plastic pieces but it's really really cool all right, so there is my owl. So let's put her over here to cure. And here is the one that is ready. I've got to clean up the paint, the white on her eyes, but that is the Bibbidi Bobbidi Blue by itself. Look at that shift, oh, so pretty. So that is what that owl looks like. So this is what I was talking about with the multiple steps. So I let it cure. Tomorrow, I will take it out of the mold and I will put black paint like you see here. That paint has to dry and then I wipe off the excess and it stays in the grooves and crevices of the mold. And then I will take clear resin, which I will do right now and show you. Let me move my cup over there out of the way. So what I do to coat Get you in camera here. All right, so what I do is I take my spatula and I take my piece and I just lightly just put a light coat on top. And then I use my light to check for missed spots which i am just looking and she looks pretty good just want to do one more little drip right there so this should resin is self-leveling which is super awesome so there is this little miss owl so i'll put her there um resin is self-leveling and you don't have to top coat but some of my pieces I like to, 
just to have a little bit extra it just gives a little bit extra shine and I usually do my top coat before I sand just so I don't have to sand twice because the edges of the piece that are on the back around the rim of the piece are really sharp. Okay, let's see. This is a special order for one of my best customers. So let's finish it off. I really hope she likes this because, well, first of all, I hope it turns out because if it turns out the way my vision saw it, it will be gorgeous. So this is one of the little jars. So here is the other the jar part. That was the lid. So I'm just finishing up topping off the molds. When they're really deep and big like this, it's better to pour in sections because as resin cures, it releases heat. So if you have one of these molds that's really deep like that, it can um, get so hot that it will stick to the mold and you won't be able to get it out. Plus, I just don't think it's that good for your molds anyway. All right, so there's another Coating. I forgot to turn on. Oh, my big light is on. Why am I having such a hard time seeing? Okay. So there's that. And then this is going to be a piece I had someone asking for dolphins. So this can be a coaster or it could be a gigantic cover minder. It will definitely keep things in place, but I think it would be best as a coaster. You could put just one magnet on the back and have it for a fridge magnet. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of coaxing the resin in place without, so I don't pour in too much. So I'm just going to use my craft stick and help it along because this just needs a little bit. So what, um, when I do embeds <clears throat> in molds, I never fill it up all the way the first time because a lot of times those embeds like to float to the surface. So there is that one. And you can see I put Bibbidi Bobbidi Blue on there and I used these new beads that I also got from Bear Mountain. She has got 34, 36 different combinations and these are little tiny glass bubble beads love them. All right, so what I was going to do with those next is, ah, no, come back. Oh gosh, falling out of my chair again. Oof. All right, so what I was going to do with those beads is I have a Kentucky mold, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a tiny bit of resin in the bottom of the mold. Now with these beads, you really have to watch it because they like to jump and roll and bounce. So keep that in mind if you're ever working with them. So I'm just putting a little bit of resin, maybe a sixteenth of an inch in the bottom. And then I'm going to take my beads. I'm actually going to take the lid off. I have a little tiny spoon that came with, and you can see it's coated with drills. <laughs> from doing the jars. So I'm just going to clean these off a little bit. I don't want any, well, no, they're not coming off. They definitely are stuck. So I'm going to take my little spoon and I'm going to scoop out some beads. And I'm going to put these in my Kentucky mold. So, um, I just lost my train of thought. What a shock, right? Oops. Um, there are just about, I'm pretty sure there's every uh, state in a mold. So if you have um, something you want to see, make sure you send me a message and I will be more than happy to look into getting that mold. 
as long as you order. Because <laughs> you would not believe the number of people I've had ask me for something special and I go ahead and work it up so they can see what it looks like and then it's like, yep, crickets. Okay. So I'm just tapping. This just helps seat the beads into the resin. And then I'm going to use the rest. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to let that cure. There's actually um, enough resin in there already to seat all of them pretty much. So I'm just going to leave that and then I'll top it off tomorrow. So there is our Kentucky mold. I just dropped it upside down. A goober. Okay, luckily it stayed in place. Um, also, I wanted to show you this. I'm using a microfiber cloth. I buy these at Dollar Tree. Also, 90% of my supplies, probably, when it comes to crafting, a lot of my supplies come from Dollar Tree, which is awesome. Okay, the next thing. Oh, is, this is my new Hocus Pocus design. I had showed you all, um, or actually they're on the, the Etsy site, um, some other ones, and I'm just not happy with them. They're made, it's actually a candy mold, and it's just not conducive to painting, which they have to be painted in order to see the designs. So I'm not happy with those. I'm still working on trying to get them to look great, but this is a regular resin mold and it comes out awesome. It says it's all just a bunch of hocus pocus. All right, so that, what else was I gonna do? Oh, I need to show you my new design. Let me wipe my hands off good here. Also, you don't want to leave this sit for too long because it will start curing in the cup. It doesn't care where it is, it will cure no matter what. So this is my newest acquisition. What do you think? Is it awesome? So this is a pin holder or a makeup holder and I have tested it out and it holds quite a few different pins. The only things it won't hold right is um, the ones that are, you know, carved or whatever. Turned, not carved, turned. So the only thing with this is I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to ship it because it makes me nervous to um, think about shipping it like this, but then again, it needs to be secured so your piece stays together. All right, so what I'm doing here, this is, since this is my prototype, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. So what I did was I dipped that little leg into the resin, and this is gonna be just like glue. So we're gonna do that. Okay. And then I will take, where's my clear stick? My clear stick. And what I mean by that is it's the one that has clear resin on it. So I'm just gonna glob a little bit on the top of these. And then that will glue this together. Okay. So there it is, and now I just have to wait till tomorrow and then we'll test it out and see how it holds up. It also doubles as a phone holder. It holds, that you can put your phone right there or lay your pin right there, whichever you wanna do. But it is awesome that, oh shoot, why is that sliding down? Darn it. <laughs> now I gotta find something that can sit under there. Oh crud, I'll have to work on that in a minute. Uh, what's next? Oh, these also needed to be topped off. These are little tiny owls. And I just did, I had some leftover resin, so I'm just going to messily pour this on. And what I'm doing is I'm doing that top coat. Let's see, 
I don't want to get glitter in my pull this cup over so what I did was I just poured um, kind of globbed because it does they don't need much so now I'm just scraping off the excess Just got glitter in my cup and on my spatula, which is not good. All right, so now you can go here. Here, your little self. Um, what's next? Oh, I need to get this finished. This is one that I have had in the works for I don't know how long. So this is like a thirty-dollar piece since it's taken me so long to. <laughs> Just kidding. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dip this because what I'm doing is I am coating the paint and I want it nice and secured and this is going to have to be sanded really well and you can't see what I'm doing can you so what I did was I just dipped the cherries into I keep thinking I need to go back further I dipped the cherries into the clear resin just the stem and a little bit and I'm just letting it drip off and I will lay it flat and then I will sand off the excess as it cures it will you know just kind of drip down gravity takes effect okay um, let's see oh here's another one I can dome so this I won a contest I didn't even know I had um, been entered in so this is a very cool new piece it's like a gem crystal flower like a lotus flower so what I did was I painted the mold with two colors of mica and then I poured in clear resin and then when I took it out of the mold I used black paint just to paint the black back of it so it gives it more dimension so you can see how I, would, I should have showed you before I painted it how it looked, but it's just so cool how just that little bit of color changes the piece so much. So I'm just going to put resin on the back, and there is that little bit of a lip because I didn't fill the mold all the way for this very purpose. So all I'm doing is I'm just spreading the resin covering the acrylic paint because the acrylic paint the reason I can use acrylic paint and get the excess off is because it does not adhere to um, it won't stick to the resin I mean it will but you can scrape it off so anytime I use that technique I either use a clear coat of spray and um, glitter spray not glitter spray clear spray paint geez so since it does not sit flat I'm putting it in a cup so it will be level as it cures what else what else what else I'm trying to figure this one out this is a new mold I just got and I thought it would be cool since we are diamond painters if we had more diamonds but I'm having trouble figuring out exactly how to make it look awesome. So this is pretty cool, but you can only see the diamond in the light shift. I painted it with some mica, and I'm not exactly sure what to do. And then this one, <clears throat> hang on, I need a drink. Ugh, excuse my hand. Ugh. So this one, I painted the cavity black, and I need to figure out I'm not real sure what to do so those are still pending I have a jack in the works and I painted I did I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this one I poured in the white base first and then I painted all of it on the back with three coats of acrylic paint and now I'm just going to fill the rest of the mold with just clear so I want to see I haven't done that before so I wanted to see how that comes out so there you have it. 
And let's see, we still have some resin left. Let's do, how about we do some Quidditch. 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 That's such a weird word. Oh, here is another diamond. I almost forgot. This is another diamond that I have. It's just a smooth diamond that I filled, of course, with drills. And of course, you remember our little drill jars. So if you have any leftover drills that you aren't going to use, that you don't want, please send them to me because I will put them to good use and they will stay out of the landfill. Woohoo! Okay, so I need to get glitters for our Quidditch ball. Am I saying that right? Uh, it's just such a weird word, it just sounds strange. Okay, so I need gold, which I am going to use Midas Touch and Sands of Time. And then for the wings, sorry else, she's over here laying beside me, or not beside me, but my table. So we're gonna use Killer Tofu for our, oops, hope that didn't move the camera. Did it move? Uh, a little bit. All right, let's see if we get closer or further away. All right, so now let's get another little cup. And I, I let the resin dry in these and I use them quite, for quite a while. So again, it's, you know, reducing waste, <clears throat> all that good junk. So we're only gonna need, so again, here is Midas Touch. And this one says, it's not polite to stare at me, even though I'm totally okay with it. It's funny. Oh, I've never used this one. Huh. I thought I had. So the, the other thing with Glitter Guy, they have different cuts. So like this is a 0 0.01, and you can see it's very, very fine. And then this one is a 0.25, and you can see it is a little bit of a chunkier glitter. And then this is another of the 0 .0. 0 0.010. So this is my Sands of Time, and it says this glitter wants to hang out with you. Oh, wait, I read that wrong. This glitter wants to hang out with your floor. <laughs> now this stuff, this 0 0.010, 0 goes everywhere. It's the ultra, ultra fine. So the smaller the number, the finer the, the cut. So when it's kind of like with wire, As you go up, it gets thicker. So I'm just mixing in. And again, this is really just to give it a little bit of extra dimension. So let's pour, we just need a tiny, tiny bit for this. Okay, so we'll stir. So cool. And then I will plop it in the mold. So I found out there is this new thing on YouTube that is called um, Something thanks. Oh shoot, what's it called? Something thanks. But you can click on those and that will help support the channel. And I want to let you know that any of the money, if I get any money from those, it will strictly be earmarked for going back into the business. So what I am looking to purchase right now is a bigger, camera setup because this one that I'm using is not great and I definitely want to start doing more videos like this with you. Ugh, there's a piece of black glitter stuck so I'm just going to grab a piece of tape because the glitter loves to stick to these molds. 
So what I'm doing is, can you see that little fleck on the wing? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape, I'm going to stick it to the mold, and it picks up the piece of glitter. So that is taken care of. So now we'll use our killer tofu. And if you have noticed, the resin is already getting warm and getting thicker. So I have exceeded my window and I need to hurry and get the rest of these poured. So a lot of times um, you can use just about anything mold wise. Just be prepared that if it's not silicone, you're gonna have to destroy your mold to get the piece out if it will come out. So just be, be prepared. Acetate works really good. So there is our little guy. He's gonna be cute, 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 cute. He is tricky to pick up. Yeesh. Whew, that was nerve wracking. Um, let's see, I got a little snowman dude here. So I've got some killer tofu. Did I tell you what? Oh, killer tofu is another one of the hacked glitters. And if you look at it, check out the color shift. So this has got pinks and yellows, but it is a clear glitter. It's so cool. All right, so let's, here is our little snowman. And I am going to add a little bit of white mica to this, just for a little opacity. And I think I need a little bit more resin. Just to get it mixed in, then I'm gonna be stuck with more. So there is that. So now we just have, we have a white with just a little bit of sparkle. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glitter so it's a little bit standy off, standy outer. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, huh? Oof, that was rough. I tell you, I have definitely got something going on with my brain because my cognitive abilities are very lacking. I'm having trouble finding words. I'm having trouble getting them out of my mouth. Um, like, I'll go to say something and everything just stops. Let's see. Let's do... Do, 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 Let's do a cotton candy. Oh man, I I put Velcro strips on the backs of my glitters, and I can put. Um, I have a. Ooh, that was way too much. My where this table is is a craft cabinet, and it the one of the doors has <coughs> has um like a felt, so I can Velcro my glitters, but sometimes the Velcro peels off because it's just put on there with hot glue. I need to figure out another option of, so can you see how thick this is right now? It's almost like paint or putty kind of. So check out how cool this color looks. Look at that. So that's the white mica, killer tofu, and some cotton candy magic. And it just gives an incredible, cool... So since it is so thick, I'm having to like really like push it into the mold, which is not ideal, but it works. So there is that. Let's go ahead and do a heart. I'm trying to, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to fill in molds. I always try to use all of my resin because this stuff is not cheap. I'm going to be listing some new stuff on Etsy hopefully this week. So make sure you are check favoriting the shop and checking back often for new. And I'm branching out to not just cover minders. I'm trying to appeal to more people 
And now that I am on Instagram, I will hopefully get some new faces checking me out. Look how cool that looks. That just looks so cool. I can't wait to see these unmolded. So cool. All right. I have a ton of these hearts because I actually, let's see, can we get some gold in there? I had, this is just such a fun mold that I have actually worn one out. I had to throw it away. So when I reordered it, it took me forever to find it. So when I did find it, I ordered like five of them. <laughs> but this is a, this is kind of a popular, this is the one that I put, um, the you can put the hearts in there or the puzzle pieces whatever what else here let's do a diamond you can see how i do the drills which really isn't all that Ooh, can you hear the thunder it's thundering so this is the second oops let me clean up some of my stuff see this is that craft mess that you get when you're creating you just go 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 all right so let me get rid of these cups put them over here to cure get rid of that and let's see that i'm still working on get rid of this one so we don't get it. okay so this is the second container of drills i've already emptied one of these Two of these, no, I've emptied two of these, and this is the third. So that's how many drills it takes to make one of these jars. It takes a lot. I think I've made four, five, six, I think I've made eight or 10 of the drill jars. So let me grab my little, where'd my spoon go? Grab my little spoon. And I'm just gonna scoop some out and just sprinkle them in place. And this is these things go everywhere too, you know, so that's why I'm trying to be so slow and careful. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna take another craft stick and get a hold of it and then just push them in. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so there's that. I still have resin left. Ugh. So we're gonna have to need to make room over here. I got too much. I have a ton of empty molds. See what I mean by glitter sticking to the molds? Can you see all the <laughs> all the stars? Definitely need to put some stuff away because I ran out of room. Oh, this is what the, whoops, forgot that was open. These I get at Dollar Tree, so you can see how they're packaged. You get 36 of them for $1.25, and since I reused them numerous times, they last me for quite a while. Same with the, the bigger cup. Um, those also, let's see, let's do some of these. This will be... A good way to use up the last of the resin before it gets too hard. So I'm just pouring a little tiny bit in the bottom of this mold. This is a like a little truffle cake mold thing, I think. Can't remember now. But you can, like I said, you can use any kind of silicone mold container. You can, you know, do the the candy molds. Okay, and another thing I make sure I do is I make sure I really scrape out my measuring cup, which you can't see me doing right now because the camera's not in the way. But all I'm doing is I'm using my spatula and getting every last little bit out. Also, this helps preserve the cup because you don't want a bunch of resin curing in the bottom down here, because then that'll mess up your measurements. So I scraped out as much as I could. 
And now, let's see, we can do a couple with drills. Boop. 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 De boop. Okay. So there's our drills. And then I have, I don't think those are too big. Oops, lost a butterfly. Oh no, this might fit. I found, I got these really cool, I hold them right, dolphins. I'm gonna, the smallest one. Now these are stickers, but all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it face down in the mold and I use tweezers just to keep my bulky hands out of the way. Oops. Okay, so I just grab it like this, drop it where I want it and just kind of push it down into the resin so it holds like that. And then I think I'm gonna pour some killer tofu in there just to give our little dolphin friend some sparkle. Okay, and let's see, what do I want to do next? I think these are, oh, I can do a bat. Is the big one gonna fit? Nope. So I have a little baby bat. So again, I'm gonna hold it. See, they're metallic on the back. Isn't that cool? They're just the coolest looking things, I tell you. So we'll put that in. Okay, come off. There we go. Perfect. So we'll put him like that. And then I will wait till he cures and give him um, some extras in there. So I'm just spreading out. Oops, I just got a drill in there and I don't want to drill in there. Go in there. Can you hear the thunder? And the thunder rolls. And the lightning strikes. And the cold rock rolls. La 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 la. Got to love Garth, right? Oof. So over Garth. I can't believe he is still performing. That is just nuts. So this is a little butterfly. Again, using my tweezers, especially with these really deep molds, the tweezers definitely help. So I'm putting my little butterfly, oh shoot, it's got a Made in China sticker on the back of it. Well, I'll just cover it up. And then that is a yellow butterfly. Let's do, actually I'm gonna use my opal me. Man, wind keeps changing direction. The rain is like whoosh. So this is another brand new one. I haven't used it yet. So this is called Opal Me Please. And this is another hacked glitter. And you can see it is, um, it's called a chunky mix. And this is actually little hexagons, different sizes of hexagons, which is super cool. So I'm just going to pour some Opal Me in here. All right. What do I want to do with the bat? Should we do some opal? Oh, I need to do glow in the dark with the bat. Oh, yes. So I did a little bit of opal. And I need to order more glow in the dark. This is the glitter guy glow in the dark. Something with that you need to watch with glow in the dark is sometimes um, it's only a black light glow. And that's a mistake I made with glitter hippo. I wasn't paying attention and I have a lot of black light glow glitters. So it's kind of, all right, so there are our pieces. I don't want to tilt them too much because I want stuff to move. All right, so that is my session for today. And the thing with the gloves, um, if you have sensitive skin, um, the resin can really bother you. When I first started working with resin, I 
broke out because I, I didn't I didn't pay attention to the secure security to the safety measures. Okay, ha, I'm back. But um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this this um, it can irritate your skin. It is a chemical, so you need to be extra careful. And if you have, um, I am working in a very well ventilated room. The door is open, as you can see. I have the ceiling fan on high, and I only do one batch at a time. So, like, I don't unless I have to fill up, finish filling a mold. I won't. I won't make more than one. Um, one one batch of resin because it does get my eyes get kind of itchy and you know that kind of stuff you can wear a respirator if you want I just have not purchased one yet because I don't do resin full-time so if you are planning to make a business out of it then you will definitely want to invest in um, a respirator good gloves gloves are very important have baby wipes on hand and um, have fun it's so much fun these are all my molds on the both of these carts are my molds they are not full I still have some like these top four drawers are stickers Dollar Tree Dollar Tree is my friend so there you have it that's all I have for you today thank you so much for being here and I will see you again so soon let me know if you like this video love ya bye <laughs>